Donkey Kong using his mini mushroom, wanting to roll low for honestly unknown reasons. Dropping by the item shop, what's he gonna get? Maybe there's a magic lamp on sale. There is, how about that? Looks like Donkey Kong is gonna be taking a shortcut to the star next turn. Bypassing that ch junction of a chance, chance junction there. Waluigi making a donation to the, co the cabana, investing a little. And hey, 15 coins means we get a bit of an upgrade. Not bad. Not stopping by the item shop. And which direction is Waluigi gonna go? Looks like he's going up. But unfortunately, Donkey Kong goes before him. So he might not get the star like he wants. Princess Peach stopping by the cabana, making another donation. Investment is currently at 20 coins. Does not want an item, and which direction is she gonna go? Let's find out. Going up as well. That's two players who are going to get cut off by Donkey Kong before they have a chance to get to the star, I assume. And Daisy! Daisy's still just kind of off in her own little world there. Time for a round of domination. Let us see who can be a mash master here. Okay. And time to tip. Boy, this mini game and kind of plays havoc on my capture here. I'm not sure if that's showing up on the recording or not, but it looks a little funky. <laughs> and Daisy makes off with another mini game. Has a lot of coins to spare right now, she does. The biggest question is, is she actually going to get a chance to use them? Because things have not been working out for her that well so far. And as we all expected, Donkey Kong is summoning in the Mushroom Genie to get him to the star. Which means... Waluigi and Peach, unfortunately, will not be getting it. Off he goes! And that gives Donkey Kong his second star. Donkey Kong is doing very well for himself so far. Next star, all the way down here. Which means players are either going to have to go down at that one banana junction or hit themselves an orange space. Orange happening space at the orange dock. The happening space itself isn't orange, but it's on an, an orange. It's by an orange. Oof, Princess Peach hitting a Bowser space, the third one of the game. And hey, Bowser's paying us a visit once more. Time for another Bowser game. And half of everyone's coins, half of their coins are on the line.
Welcome to all! It's time for a little Balloon of Doom! Let's see if we can get this balloon the biggest without popping it. Alright. Daisy with a big ground pound there. Donkey Kong's turn. Balloon is pumping up a lot already. Though everyone is still currently safe. Not quite in the danger zone yet. Bowser commands it to be bigger. Alright. It's getting there. This is the point where things start getting kind of tense. No one's ducking in fear just yet, but they're going to start pretty soon. Yep. Do love the little bits of personality here with the Koopa kids in the background hiding. They're just as worried as everyone else, and Waluigi pops the balloon. How dare you indeed. Oh my. Definitely unfortunate for Waluigi, losing half of his cash. Though, it's not as devastating as it could be, I guess. If Daisy had lost, she would have lost 40 coins. But maybe Waluigi can make up a little bit of his money right now with a 1 vs 3 minigame. Time for some hide and go boom! It's kind of funny, because I was playing some Mario Party Superstars uh, between recordings here, and I compared this minigame to Hide and Sneak. Uh, as it turns out, in Mario Party Superstars, they changed the controls on Hide and Sneak for Mario Party 3 to make it more similar to how this game works, with the buttons instead of holding directions. Speaking of buttons, the Y button was not a good choice for Donkey Kong, it seems. Is anyone hiding in the bee cannon? No! Which means, if the team of three played it smart, they have just guaranteed themselves a victory. But, they could both be in this cannon right here. They were not, but they were both hiding in the other one. Playing it a little risky there. Team of three takes that one pretty handily. Daisy increasing her very tremendous coin total. Donkey Kong making another stop at the cabana. The current level is at 25. I believe at 30 it is going to change shape again. And hey, if you're spending cash, might as well go to the item shop, buying himself a super mega mushroom. Well, okay then. Waluigi with a four. Looks like we're gonna be seeing a battle in our future here. And yes, the cabana gets upgraded once more. Looks like there's a hot spring now back there. At least the steam in the back seems to suggest that. But before anyone can enjoy the hot springs, it's time for 
a five coin battle game, so not a lot on the line since DK didn't even have five coins at that point, but you know, it's something. And hey, uh, have we seen this game yet? I don't think we have, actually. Players have to avoid the charging chain chomp while also avoiding pillars of fire coming up from the floor. Obviously, the last man standing wins. Every time Chain Chomp hits one of the sides, it gets broken away. And if Chain Chomp hits an open space, he is uh, spins around once more and makes another charge across the screen. As the timer counts down, the fire becomes a little more problematic, and there's less space for the Chain Chomp to hit, which means, means he makes more dashes across the screen. Definitely an intense game worthy of being a battle game. Donkey Kong gets eliminated right here. Waluigi gets knocked out. It's down to the two princesses. Time is almost up though. Will they both make it? They do. You don't often seem a time see a time out on that game. So that's actually pretty interesting. Both Peach and Daisy take the full prize pool though, splitting it between them nine coins each. It's not a lot, but it's something. Daisy with a nice 99 coins down there right now. Everyone's coming up on that junction, that's aside from Daisy. And she is stopping by the item shop, I'm willing to bet. Magic Lamp's gonna be on the list here. Yes, it is. Predictably, Daisy is going to just kind of warp her way to where the star is, and so she won't have to worry about uh, her 50-50 shot at the junction or hitting that happening space up there. And hey, she gets a Mega Mushroom, too. So it's looking like Daisy is gonna be on the board with a star next turn. And time for an avalanche! Everyone's gonna go skiing. Away they go down the slope. Trying to avoid avalanche doom. Making a jump. Donkey Kong hitting the rock there, getting knocked out. Daisy hitting an obstacle. All the obstacles have been passed, though. The course is pretty much the same every time. So you can kind of predict and plan around things. Princess Peach wins! Not bad there. Not the worst animation. Princess Peach had a pretty significant lead there, and made her way to a victory. Donkey Kong using his Super Mega Mushroom. Not entirely sure that was the smartest idea. He does get himself a 16. Maybe he's hoping to loop around and hit Daisy. If she is even in range, I'm not sure if she is. He is going downward towards where the star is. But of course, he doesn't have any money to get it, and he can't get it while he's giant anyway. And misses hitting Daisy by one space. That has got to hurt a little bit. Gets another Mega Mushroom for his trouble, though. Waluigi using the Mini Shroom. Again, for reasons. I can't really tell you why, but he's definitely doing it. And he is buying himself a Sparky Sticker. My very own sticker. How kind of you, Mario Party 4. And uh, depending on which way Waluigi goes here, he might be hitting a Bowser's pace. <coughs> Excuse me. 
But he avoids such a fate. Peach rolling a three, hitting a happening space. She's got to spend a night at the cabana paying 30 coins. Oof. But here comes the tsunami, and there it goes. The cabana is a hundred times crueler than the Koopa Bank ever was, since you don't even get the coins that get invested in this case. You just have to pay sometimes a ridiculous amount of money, depending on how far that goes. I have seen the cabana go up to the 40 and 50 coin range before without anybody ever hitting it. So, yeah. But as we all expected, Princess Daisy is using her magic lamp and making her way to the star. Which means everybody's got at least one star right now. All things considered, this is still a pretty close game. No one has sort of any kind of outstanding lead right now. Next star up that away, which means you do have to go through a new Kiki Junction to get to it. I don't think there's much of a choice in that matter. I don't think there's a short another shortcut that leads up there. I think anyway. There might be a mini pipe somewhere I'm not thinking of, but you know. And hey, time to make some waves. Princess Peach in the center. Will she be able to avoid watery losing ness? Doing a pretty good job so far. Keeping balance with these waves. Time is almost up. Princess Peach might just pull this off. She does. Things got a little rocky towards the end of there, but she stayed on. Getting herself a minigame. Donkey Kong using his Mega Mushroom, uh, probably trying to make up for not getting Daisy last turn. That 8 will do it. And double 8s for Donkey Kong! A 10 coin bonus for him. Not bad. And takes 10 more coins from Daisy. Heading off in the direction of the star. Will he head in the right spot though? He does go up, but I think... No, he is right in range. He landed right before it. Not bad, Donkey Kong. And yes, from the way the board is laid out there, it looks like the only way up to that little spot is through the... Uh, Ukiki Junction there. Oh, Koopa Kid. Taking everyone's cash. Taking DK's money right in front of the star. That has got to hurt. Waluigi placing down his Sparky sticker. Trying to catch some unlucky soul with that trap. Oof, no one has a lot of cash right now because of that. Daisy is the only one who has any sort of significant money total. Well, Peach can't make an investment to the cabana, so nothing really happens there. Doesn't even have enough money to stop into the shop. And she might be hitting that Sparky sticker, which is going to end up wasting Waluigi's trap. <laughs> Nope, she avoids it. And instead, it gets a happening space to ride across the way on the back of a dolphin. 
And she gets three coins for her trouble. Not bad. Daisy using her Mega Mushroom, probably trying to replicate what Donkey Kong just did. She does have enough cash for that star. Double nines! We're seeing doubles galore this time around. Getting herself a 10 coin bonus and rolling pretty high. Unfortunately, because of that high roll, she is going to be ending end up uh, walking right by the star. Should she go in the right direction at all here? Yes, she does, and unfortunately, she misses the star by a few spaces. Even crushing Donkey Kong under her feet does not really accomplish much, because he does not have any coins right now. He made sure of that by hitting that Bowser space. Really, Donkey Kong's only hope here was going to be if this was a bonus game or not, but as it turns out, we're not playing a bonus game, we're playing Cheap Cheap Sweep instead. Peach and DK on one team, Waluigi and Daisy on the other. Our blue side here already has a good number of cheap cheeps. Red has caught up a little bit though. Still pretty even though, all things considered. Oh, but that 11 points might be a little hard to beat. There's one golden cheap left that the blue team is going to have to grab, I think. And Waluigi got it, it looks like. All the cheap cheeps are accounted for, but it's not enough. Each and DK with 14 points take the victory. But... Still, that's not going to be enough to help out Donkey Kong here, unfortunately. Not enough cash means no third star for him. Oh dear. How unfortunate. He gets to hang out with Daisy though, so that's not bad. And another Bowser space. Bowser and his underlings are making their presences quite known this time around, it seems. Koopa Kid drops by once again. What's going to happen? And taking all of Waluigi's money. He really didn't have much to begin with, but there you go. Peach hitting a battle space. Continuing to guarantee that money is just getting tossed around here. What's the battle game going to be worth? 10 coins! Which means we're going to have 30 coins for everyone to scrounge for since Waluigi did not have any cash. And it's time to catch some more butterflies. Quite the opposite of the fiery volcano of doom where you're getting chased by a chain chomp, I think. Does hunting butterflies really scream battle game to you? Probably not. <laughs> but hey, it's a fun mini game regardless. Definitely a hectic sort of game. Always a little hard to keep track of who's got what. You really want to go for those blue guys, but you don't want to skimp on getting red butterflies or a few yellows too. And a couple of blues flying around, no one really grabbing them. Oh, there goes one. Uh, once butterflies fly into the arena, I don't think they can fly back out. Really, only a more can come in as they're caught. And once a blue butterfly is in the space, you know, um, so to say, um... It can't leave until someone catches it, so you can't really miss them. But, of course, someone else can grab it instead of you. Alright, let's see who made out the best here, though. Counting things up. 
hitting Daisy's red and blue butterflies first, which means she's gonna have a pretty lower score there, I think. Princess Peach with an impressive 42 points takes first, Waluigi comes in second. Considering he was the only one that didn't put any money in at all, I'd say Waluigi made out pretty well there. Daisy with a one. Up to our next mini game, one versus three. Playing some tree stomp. Waluigi needs to avoid getting smushed. And he needs to avoid banana peels. Very fitting that this game shows up on this board. Waluigi slips on the banana peel. And he just kind of runs right into Daisy. Probably not what he wanted to do, but I, I guess that's just how it works. <laughs> 